Justin, what is the Regulation 28 growth portfolio? Regulation 28 in Ambrose sense was very interesting. We found ourselves uh, marketing our international growth portfolio and our local SA equity, equity growth portfolio. And all of a sudden we had financial advisors approaching us and saying, look, we, we, we love them, but what about Regulation 28? We have clients who are trying to save towards their retirement and we need a portfolio that fits the definition in terms of SA's Reg 28 retirement-based portfolio, portfolios. In the SA Reg 28 portfolio, we try to use our best, let's call it, ideas and best um, opportunities, but also trying to frame them within the Reg 28 framework. What does that mean? Well, when we started, we tried to avoid in 20, from 2014 onwards, having too much exposure to you know, SA bonds at the time. We didn't see much upside in those. We were concerned about growth in the, in the big blue chip SA equities. So we had, a, we had an ability to take the best ideas from our local SA equity portfolio. And to a degree, we had the ability to have a portion as per Reg 28 that we could take offshore into our best ideas offshore. So what happened was the Reg 28 portfolio was born out of desire and uh, request from you know, the financial advisors. But what we were able to do was take some of the best ideas we had at the time and look at a different way to run Reg 28 in our world. That would, I must caveat that by saying it was still within all the regulations, but that's where the Reg 28 portfolio was born. 